Okay, Jack, let's take a look at your swing uh, down the line uh, versus uh, Mike Hurlbert on the senior tour. So we're going to take a look at this. First, I'm going to show you your swing in fast motion. And I want you to see that there's the hands do never get behind your body because you're not making a shoulder turn like we saw in that previous video. So look at the hands, how they're not going behind your body. Now look at Mike Hurlbert's hands. See how they're behind him? Because he's making a shoulder turn, and he's getting that club and those hands behind him, and he's turning his body, turning his shoulder. So we're going to look at this thing frame at a time so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right, let's take a look first. First, when you bring it back, you can see that you're just pulling the club back with your hands, where he's turning his body, his lower body. And look, at, look how he's standing upright with his legs. He's standing up tall. His hands are going back kind of back with uh, with the body turning but look at your head it's pointed straight down his head is up your head is down so that's the first thing we need to work on plus this posture here see how he's kind of straight up and down with his legs your legs are bent so we have to get you a nice stand-up posture now as he brings the club back he's turning his shoulders and his body at the same time so look at his hand position and let's just take a look at yours you can see his hands are starting to get above his right shoulder when you get to the top, you can see that's all the further you get. So if we stop right here and compare your hands and Mike Holbert's hands, let's take a look at these positions because this is where we need to get you. We need to get you to turn your shoulders and get your hands behind you. Now let's just look at the left shoulder position and you'll, you can see here where Mike Holbert's is. I'm drawing a circle around it and that's his left shoulder and look at your left shoulder. So we need to get that hand, that entire left arm, extended so that it's across your body, across your chest. And if you look, you can see his chest is pointed towards my camera, where your chest is not pointed towards my camera because you haven't turned your lower body and you haven't turned your shoulders. So I'm going to draw a little triangle here on Mike Hurlburt, and that's what it's supposed to look like at the top, that nice triangle there. So the right arm and the left arm is there, just like you were holding a tray. Just like he was going to hold a tray with that right arm. Now let's take a look at your uh, triangle, and you can see that you, you don't really have one, and that's because nothing is, in the, the right arm and the left arm haven't gotten behind you. And that's because you haven't turned the hips, and you haven't turned the shoulder. And it could be because your head is pointed straight down, so you can't get your shoulders to turn underneath your head. So we're trying to get to this triangle here, and that's what we want to do. So let's just uh, go back a little bit further here, and uh, we'll take a look. The other thing, that circle I just drew, Jack, that's where your hands are supposed to be. See where his hands are? His hands are there. Your hands should be where that circle was that I just drew. So that's his hand position, and your hand position. You can see where it is now, but it should be right there. So we have to get those hands behind your body. So now I'm going to start down. If you look at as we start down, you can see Mark, uh, Mike Hurlburt's hands are falling right back on that green line like they're supposed to. But you didn't because you didn't make a shoulder turn. Your hands are way out in front because what's happening here is you're coming over the top. That's what we call this move. Your club is coming from the outside and you're cutting across the ball so it's just like a glancing blow and you can see the face is wide open on your club so the reason for that is because you never made a shoulder turn now if you look at where his hands are his hands are nice and low his right hand and elbow are tucked in and I'm gonna show you this little move here that you're making you can see the club is going inside see there see how that clubs going inside going from the right to the left and that's not good. That's cutting across the ball. Look at his. His is going from the inside and it's swinging out down the target line. You can see that club going down the target line. So that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that movement. Look at his shoulders. How his shoulders are pointed that way. Where your shoulders are pointed way left of the target because you're cutting across the ball. And we need to fix that. So if we go further into the finish, you can see Mike Holbert's hands are nice and high where we don't even see your hands on the left-hand side, Jack. See, they're completely gone. 
where Mike Hurlburt's hands are nice and high. So we need to work on this, and this isn't hard to do. We just need to get a little drill so that we can work on it and get your hands and your body and everything moving together. So I hope this helps. All right, thanks, Jack.